Hi, I'm Zachary Zayos, an arts editor for the Cornell Daily Sun. And I'm Sam Bromer, I'm a Sun contributor. And we're here to review Cloud Atlas, a new film released last week, and we're also going to preview a few films uh, premiering in Ithaca over the next week. Uh, so Cloud Atlas is a new film from the Wachowskis and Tom Tykwer, and by all accounts it's a very large film. Uh, the budget's over $100 million, and it encompasses six storylines uh, taking place between 1839 and a post-apocalyptic future where the exact date is not exactly clear. And I should mention that it's adapted from a book by David Mitchell. Um, the plot's a, a bit difficult to describe since it's so many interwoven storylines, but Zach will give it a try. So the film has multiple storylines, uh, and it starts from the 19th century and goes far into the future. There's about six different uh, main characters. Uh, they're played by Tom Hanks, Halle Berry, uh, Jim Sturgis, Ben Wishaw, Jim Broadbent, and Duna Bay. And members of the supporting cast include Hugh Grant, Hugo Weaving, and David Gayasi. So the many different storylines basically funnel down to a underlying theme. Or there's multiple themes, but the main one is basically about how our actions affect not only ourselves, but our, our future selves, or, or at least the generations uh, to come. And it's a very romantic idea, and you know, ridiculous of course. But it, it, it works well in this case because it allows for character action to be the main uh, vehicle for underlying theme. Uh, and it also allows for lots of very expensive action scenes. Right. I mean, it's a classic Hollywood film in terms of the fact that there are many huge, big budget productions. There's shooting, there's violence, there's explosions. But there's also a sense of morality that in today's Hollywood you don't often see. Often uh, they kind of get a, they kind of dwell on the, the moral wasteland that's become of our world rather than uh, promoting you know actual ethics and values and morality. So that's something that this film does well. So for example, I absolutely love the scenes with Duna Bay. She did a great job portraying her role. She was forceful. She was purposeful, and the scenes were very powerful. Yet on the other hand, um, Jim Sturgis's role as a young lawyer, um, nothing really happened in those scenes, and they were kind of boring. And I was kind of hoping I could avoid them while watching the film. But overall, it was successful. So clocking in at almost three hours long, Cloud Atlas is far from a typical Hollywood movie you'll see with your friends. But truthfully, uh, I think we'll both agree that it's not too difficult of a film to comprehend and piece together. And it's, and it's well worth the time and energy it requires. And as for movies this week, playing at Regal Cinema at the Ithaca Mall. Um, first we have Denzel Washington and Robert Zemeckis' new film, Flight. We have the new D Disney animated film, Wreck-It Ralph. And finally, my personal favorite, we have the RZA directed and Quentin Tarantino produced, Man with the Iron Fist. And at Cornell Cinema over the next week, we have new uh, restoration prints for Annie Hall and The Grand Illusion, as well as uh, The Dark Knight playing next week, and uh, visiting filmmaker and Cornell alum, Prashant Bhargava for his film, Patang, English name, Kite. And finally, playing at Cinemopolis this week, we have Wuthering Heights, directed by Andrea Arnold. Thanks for watching, everyone. We hope to see you next week. We'll have more writers and plenty more movies to review.